kind of interesting about this building directly behind me is the archaeologists actually recreated what the structures looked like back then. Now this is like a, a mud house, but they just kind of shows you how they built the house. One of the questions I was wondering is that, yeah, they probably did it how they did it back then, but they used different wood from a different part of um, the U.S. because they couldn't find the exact wood from Virginia to use. But what I thought was interesting is that they actually created the nails. If you see here, closer at the the nails right here, those are original handmade nails. So the archaeologists actually had forged all these nails to make this structure as accurate as possible. So it's definitely very interesting to learn that this is exactly where a fort stood. This is where 30 uh, men slept on a daily basis and probably why most of them died because they lived in a small hut like this along the water. Uh, this actually same structure burnt down a year after it was constructed learning that all wood homes might not the best idea, especially when the fireplace is in the center. Right here, right here, there's a fireplace right in the center of this structure. So that's when they realized that maybe we should try something a little different than wood structures. But pretty interesting. Make sure you guys can see. Crosses, yeah. What's the building is? A church. That's right. This is the first. Stay in the shade if you can. I'll project. But does anybody recognize what this structure is? Cellar. Cellar, right. Or a basement to a building. And there's two. Alright, so we just finished our archaeological tour. Yep. It was actually a lot of fun and very informative. Yeah. Uh, we actually got to see the main archaeologist that runs this entire operation here. It was kind of Fun, you know, he's found one of the three of the top ten archaeological finds in the world. That's amazing. So it's they've pretty amazing. They've been found right yeah. here in Jamestown, and uh, so right behind us we see a statue of John Smith, one of the governors here at Jamestown. Yeah. So we saw some interesting uh, archaeological cellars, kitchens, yeah. uh, original building posts where they were actually mapped out the original buildings, some grave sites of some grandfathers of Jamestown, as they call them. So very interesting. Now we're gonna head over to the museums and check out more details about Jamestown and uh, uh, continue with us. We just entered the ship. Ship. I don't know what ship this is. I don't know. But it's probably really just showing you how it looks on the inside of a ship. Like I am six foot tall and I'm ducking down. I actually, fit just fine. Actually, it's fitting just fine. Uh, but it's actually a pretty cool space. Yeah. You see the hanging hammocks that are all over the the different areas in here. It probably was a lot easier with the swaying of the ocean to be in a hammock than sleeping in a bed. I'd make you awfully sick. But they have uh, all kinds of things to see in here. The cannons. It's pretty cool. And this must be the captain's or dining area of some sort. So they did. Yeah, they, yeah so they basically all had them hanging on some kind of swing support system, which I think makes sense. Probably would keep them more stable. Well, I the think, move right, with the rocking of the ocean, if you're constantly going back and forth, yeah, you probably it, move it probably was, this would keep out of, keep your center of gravity. Yeah. Wow. Interesting.
That has, sir. Thank you, thank you. So we're finishing off our, our night in our last night in Williamsburg. Williamsburg before we head on to Savannah. We stopped at a restaurant called let's see here. Dog Street Pub. I definitely think there's probably a street right here called Dog Street. And of course it's a local pub. And uh, so we thought enjoy some drinks and a little cheese plate. Yeah. Our kind of last night here in Williamsburg.